Now, this is a yo-yo setup that got it. It's about a five foot pole. I just use this one in my fish holder. I have other places out here I can put uh, uh, PVC poles with yo-yos on them and these things and then I have a hole in there I put a nail in the pole and then I can pin it with that nail was the one that string on it's kind of long and after I caught the catfish on this setup over here with this yo-yo here he took it was out this way I called on this setup here, out here, but the fish was big enough. He ran with the yo-yo over to the other side and got it tangled up with that noodle. I had to go out in the boat to get it off. I have another yo-yo set up on my light pole. I actually have this pole out here to hang a light out at night, but here lately I've been hanging a yo-yo on it. Uh, by the way, I caught that six pound channel on the brim on that yo-yo over there. Also have other places over here for rod holders and then I have places. This one here, he's, he's tired of fighting all night. But I'm going to go ahead and clean him before it gets hot. This time I'm going to cut his tail off just enough so that he'll start bleeding and then chunk him back on the lake, chunk him back in the lake let him slowly bleed to death. That's the reason I got him on a stringer so I can bleed him out and then it won't be all the blood like the video I made of me cleaning one before I didn't do that. I, I'm not going to take time to make video of me cleaning this one. This one's uh, 5 pounds 14 ounces which means I'm going to call him 6 pounds. Well this time I went ahead and got all the blood out of the fish uh, you may not be able to tell the difference from the last video, but I sure can. Now, here's the belly meat. I went ahead and cut out a couple of chunks of that because my brother brother likes the belly meat. But there's a... Uh, I cut the fillets in half, which I mentioned in an earlier video. I got those turned up so you can see how white the meat is. And then those over there, that's the other halves of them. Turned over so you can see the texture of the meat and I'm fixing to vacuum pack them and then I weigh them I like to know how much is in each package uh, it took me I timed it this time when I got ready to fillet the fish it took me four minutes to get all the meat off the bone and then I stopped and checked the time and then I filleted the meat off the skin that took another four minutes so it took eight minutes of course it took an hour for him to slowly bleed to death and then while he was doing that I set up and got the knife and got the buckets that type of stuff anyway that's the end of this video